all right virgo welcome back to the channel it's your girl Jeannie, and you already know what it is so let's just get into your energy um, i didn't really shuffle for anything i just asked for the energy today so let's see what comes out <laughs> all right i hope y'all are doing good okay we got slow but steady but it came out in the reverse we got retreat virgo something is no longer slow but steady i feel like there's gonna be a change in the way that something uh, previously came in for you. Retreat, discrimination, in the reverse, and omens. What's this energy for Virgo? Slow but steady in the reverse. Well, we got perception, burden. All right, so no, something is no longer slow but steady. It's, it's happening all at once. Someone's perception is being burdened all at once. Grounding, healing energy, eliminate potential. What are they seeing with this perception? We have integration. Joy in divine timing. Okay, changes. So Virgo, this is some beautiful energy. I feel like things are no longer slow for you. I feel like if you were ever in some type of lack in a depression in a low vibrational state, I feel like still things still came at a steady rate for you. I feel like you are still taken care of, but no longer just being taken care of. Virgo, I feel like your perception is about to be changed as something integrates into your life. Joy, as joy is integrated into your life. This is happening in divine timing. This is all because of divine timing. Three, three, three could be significant. We have three, thirty-three, thirty, forty-two, and nine. We all know three is divisible by nine, so there's lots of threes. It's all going back to Virgo energy here. So something is definitely happening in Virgo season for you. This is energy from Virgo. We have pay attention to your health. What is this energy from Virgo? Someone going out of your life or the end of a situation. Yeah, the end of that slow but steady energy. Stepping into a new experience. That integration. What's this new experience? Someone new entering your life. Joy. What's the divine timing? Whoa. I'm not going to take all of that. But there's a lot coming out here in divine timing. What I am going to take is that one that stayed. We have increase in material wealth or spiritual gain. Divine timing. So I feel like everything was happening for a reason. January could be the catalyst or by January you could be married. You'll be receiving a gift. Lighthearted, carefree time. I'm telling you, an exciting event. Some of y'all may be getting married. Okay, indecisive, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. Dealing with a fair man. Advice from a friend. Beware of greed. Chain reaction forces trying to work against you September problems to be resolved <clears throat> unsuccessful plans temporary so Virgo there is something here where little shit may go hairy wire okay um, some type of plan may not work out this could be like a simple plan to take a trip or something there could be little little things that may not go your way but ultimately there's there's some type of integration of joy and peace that's coming into your life and of increase in material wealth and also spiritual growth so you could be getting more downloads more synchronicities things could be showing up for you in your um, dream dreams or in the physical this could literally be a large sum of money we have the queen of wands energy you have the King of Swords and the Ace of Coins. What is this energy for Virgo? Page of Wands.
the queen of coins, the magician, the four of wands, Virgo. There's a couple. There's a couple here. That sees you as someone abundant or see you getting abundant news. Okay, somebody is watching you get this material wealth or increase. Page of Wands, the Queen of Wands, the Magician. Somebody's watching things pay off for you and things that you want be manifested. There's something about what you have said, Virgo. You may have said something about blessings. You may have said something about you know you're about to come up. There's change coming. You may have told people, like, I know where I'm going to be. Like, I know I'm going to be rich. I heard, I know I am. Or I know I can be what I want to be. And if I work hard at that, I'll be where I want to be. I'll be where I want to be. I know I can. Okay, so you may have told people your plans. All right, and they didn't believe you, which is crazy. Because I was just listening to uh, Show and Tell by Mick Jenkins and Freddie Gibbs. Go listen to that song. Because they were talking about, I'm going to have to show these people I can't tell them shit. I'm going to have to show these people I can't tell them shit. But you did tell them, Virgo. You told them about your dreams. You told this, told them that it is going to happen for you. You spoke it into fruition and now it's here. Divine timing. So you're showing out, Virgo. I feel like you have prophesied over your life and the things that you have prophesied is coming true. The Knight of Cups. This is literally your manifestations coming true. the page of coins I feel like people are seeing this or people are watching this because there's also something here about you going towards something that you desire even though you have all these burdens even though you were yeah six of coins even though you were you, your circumstances looked like somebody who couldn't do this. So these are people, when you told them about your dream, when you told them what you were going to do, when you told them your career path and the things that you're going to do in this lifetime, they were like, ha, okay, yeah, good luck with that, Virgo. Like, nobody believes in you. And especially with all the things that you have to go through and the things that you carry. Seven of Wands. Somebody thought that that would block you. the judgment in the ten of cups you could have been judged by your family people in your family could have made judgment calls about you your friends people you grew up with childhood friends page of cups the three of wands the eight of wands the queen of swords what's this energy the nine of coins yeah I feel like people in your family, they judged you. Like somebody was, it was very hard for them to believe that you could have the Ten of Cups and the Nine of Coins, that you could have a healthy, wealthy family, a happy family by yourself, Nine of Coins, be successful and independent. Somebody really doubted this for you. They really didn't think that when they when they separated from you or when you went off into the world, that you would actually be successful, happy, and healthy, and that everything would work out for you like you said it would. Somebody did not. <laughs> See, they didn't believe, Virgo. They didn't believe in you. Ten of Swords. These people could have betrayed you because of this. You could have told them about your dreams of who you are and they didn't believe you and they betrayed you. And now they're watching everything that you said come true. And now they're they're thinking like, damn, who would have thought Virgo? <laughs> who would have thought Virgo would be the one who did all this? And it's, it's not only that, but they betrayed you by lying on you. Talking about how needy and uh, independent and, and, and how broke and unsuccessful you truly are how unsmart you feel me how unintelligent you are somebody really spoke a lot of betrayals against you eight of coins and the ace of wands and then you put in work and like defied it that's crazy that's what you get for speaking on people's downfall this could have been your family members 
six of cups people that have known you from the past seen you in past situations judged you from your past and thought you wasn't gonna be shit virgo they see your strength now though because of your victory and you getting this wish fulfillment energy somebody is seeing the proof of everything that you say i just heard the proof is in the pudding um this could this could have been somebody you had a toxic relationship with i'm getting harley quinn and the joker putting <laughs> putting putting so at one point you were at a level of uh, delusion that you allow somebody to take you through term oil Virgo. and because of this they thought you weren't shit you were never gonna be shit you weren't gonna ever have more than they did so because they were able to It's like stun on you in the past. They had no. It's like to see you stun on them in the present is just ridiculous. It's ridiculous. That's like submission impossible. Kim possible. Okay. Ace of Swords. But it just keep happening. They keep seeing it. Ace of Swords. You keep having breakthroughs. Oh. <sighs> Like they don't want me to get this message out. Mm. You just and keep having those breakthroughs, Virgo. Keep starting on these hoes. Eight of Swords and the Four of Coins. They really, they really didn't think you would get out of this mental prison. They really didn't think you would get up, get out of everything that held you back mentally, physically, or spiritually, Virgo. They didn't really think that they really thought that they left you in circumstances, or they really thought that they knew you enough for you to be trapped in your head. But with the Ace of Swords, you just keep breaking out of these mental prisons. It's like it's like the things that happened to you were fucked up, but hey, it didn't break you. Not only did it not break you, but it gave you the strength and motivation to do the opposite. Prove these hoes wrong. And that's what you're doing, Virgo, and I love it. And I love it. I love it. It's beautiful. Yes. It's like warm bread. Mm -hmm. The Empress and the Eight of Cups. Yeah. Some of you, you could have had a child by this person or something like that. They, pro they thought that they could trap you, hold on to you if they got you pregnant and they walked away. Or so as you be too depleted by the by the by what happened to heal Knight of Wands, the the Sun card. They thought that they thought they left you in a desolate situation, Virgo. They thought they left you in a mental prison when they held back from you. But but that just made I just heard pressure turned you into a diamond. The Empress and the Eight of Cups. It's like them walking away, or them doing this is what pushed you into this Empress energy and gave you enough to walk away. The temperance, divine timing as well. I feel like the angels were helping you as well, Virgo. The page of swords. Somebody is also watching you. Oh shit. They're watching you get a relationship. They know you have some type of secret relationship that you're in, Virgo. Okay. Nine of Wands. The Five of Coins, the Death Card. Somebody knows that they're gonna be left out in the cold. Three of Cups, the Ace of Cups, the Six of Coins, the Two of Swords, the Three of Swords, the King of Wands, the Nine of Coins, the Five of Coins, the Tower. Mm, somebody's there. It's a Tower, Two of Wands. It's a Tower for their future plan to um, come come in. It's over. It's over when if you like, if you get some type of justice, well, you will, and you will. Seven of Swords. And to, it's like this person. Whoever this person is, is like watching. I don't know why every time we do readings, I watch it from the point of view of some couple watching the Virgos. Like these motherfuckers need to mind their business. What's, what's going on with the Queen of Wands and the King of Swords? What's going on with them up there? Why? Why are they watching Virgo like TV? What's going on with the Queen of Wands? These people could have been doing some type of spell work on you. They had the Ace of Cups in the reverse. They ain't in love no more. This man paid too much attention to you. She know he ain't emotionally attached to her. Because cause he watching you. What's going on between the Queen of Wands and the King of Swords? Yeah, they haven't been in love for a while now. But they still dedicated and doing something, Virgo. 
Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups. They're still the oh 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 oh. They're out to destroy you, eh? They out to destroy you, eh? They out to destroy you. Somebody here, they they salty because they don't love each other. All right, the Queen of Wands is mad at this person because he put so much attention on you. So she want to destroy you. So this man will look at her. But in reality, this man don't want you. He wants to destroy Virgo because he's hurt and, and fucked up over Virgo, obviously. Because if you were at peace and you didn't actually care what Virgo was doing, you wouldn't be over here stalking it in your feelings and angry. But anyways, with the Ace of Cups and the Knight of Coins, they ain't in love no more, but they're still dedicated to a cause. What, what this cause is, is to come towards you, Virgo, to come towards you, the Empress, Ten of Swords, and to betray you in some type of way, again. So maybe this masculine is going to, was planning to come towards you and fuck you over, Virgo. Four of Coins and the Star card hold you back from healing. They want to hold you back from healing, is what they want to do. They want to keep you bitter, keep you scorn. You feel me? Keep you not working on life, working on your, your, what you're supposed to be working on. We get the Queen of Cups, the Four of Cups, and the Five of Wands. Somebody here is almost like. It's almost like <clears throat> because somebody missed an opportunity with you, they want to cause conflict with you. Seven of Coins, that's what they're invested in. We have the Knight of Wands. These people are trying to take action to end something for you. Page of Wands, in good news for you. The High Priestess and the Justice. They could be trying to, um, they could be trying to do something, to, to taking some type of action to end your intuition, Virgo, to get the to 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 conflict with the intuitive messages that you pick up, your spiritual messages, the things that that Ace of Swords, the things that get you out of any situation, Virgo. Somebody is trying to. It's like, it's like they're trying to interrupt you or interrupt your thought process. But with the justice card and the strength card here, Virgo, there's something here that is like strongly balanced for you. I feel like justice is on your side. The strength card, the wheel of fortune and the six of coins. You just keep, it's like you, whatever they throw at you, you just keep alchemizing. The eight of coins, yeah. You keep getting justice for this eight of swords the moon the nine of swords the king of wands and the eight of coins there's something here about your intuitive energy there's also here something here about when you go quiet when you're when you disappear i feel like these people are like waiting to see if you die or like waiting to see if you won't come back waiting to see if you are too trapped in your head nine of wands to 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 do anything but you you, you just keep continuing virgo the king of wands and the eight of pentacles you just keep going and it's really baffling these people two of wands the king of cups and the ten of wands is is really baffling these people because it makes that person it makes whoever this masculine is it makes it much harder for them to create a plan to come towards you or do something towards you in in the future and this is putting them in their head so you're negating any possible way that they can trick you that they can get towards you that they can fuck you over it's like not only are you succeeding but everything that you do is energetically blocking everything that they're trying to do without you even knowing it and it's really causing a burden in these people because they really thought that they can trick and manipulate and integrate themselves into your lives but now they're seeing that like every move you make every it's like you're being divinely protected it's like they can't get through they can't and this is putting somebody in their feelings it's, they really they didn't really think that this would happen three of wands they didn't really think that they'd be waiting this long page of swords yeah they didn't they didn't think that they'd be on the outside waiting and watching page of cups six of cups swords in the reverse the six of wands somebody really thought that they could give you an apology and it would successfully make you move back into a negative situation with them the emperor this is a masculine three of swords and now they're heartbroken because they now know like 
it's over with the three of cups and the devil it's over with because i feel like you view them as a devil virgo you view them as the toxic or you view them as what's the three of cups and the devil this person may also like talk to their friends and family, like slander you to friends and family yeah the five of cups this is extreme disappointment virgo they're heartbroken because they want to reconcile with you and they're like obsessed with this and at this point with the five of cups why are we even talking about this person? Oh, because I asked why they're up here. That's why they're up here. Hating, stalking, watching motherfuckers. Because they ain't got nothing to do with their life. Because their marriage ain't fun. If it was fun, y'all wouldn't be paying attention to Virgo, okay? That's all I'm going to say. Let's get into this other, other energy. Increase in material wealth and spiritual growth. You have the Ten of Swords, the Page of Swords, the Magician, and the Page of Coins. Virgo, you're about to see how betrayals make you learn lessons that help you manifest the things that you want. It's like God allowed you, to, or the universe, God allowed you to go through some some type of trials, tribulations, but it was only to make you strong enough to alchemize, and strong enough to wield your spiritual power, strong enough to know better. It's like these betrayals is, yeah, they're, they're the thing that's moving you forward towards stability. <clears throat> King of Swords. I feel like you gain wisdom from this. Yeah, after you see things from a higher perspective, the five of coins and the justice. It's like, it's like after you see things from a higher perspective, you can see how these low points, these depression periods, these lack periods, um, were, were going to be balanced out or is going to be balanced out here during this financial increase so it's like once this starts happening for you you'll look back in the past and be like i mean some terrible shit happened to me in the past but if i knew i was getting this at the end of it i would know it was worth it i'm just gonna take them all we got the nine of swords you're still in your head though king of wands the three of swords the nine of pentacles the devil the two of swords and the six of coins you can be definitely in your head about your um business where you work here with the three of swords energy could cause you some type of grief in the past or it did cause you grief all right but with the nine of coins the devil the two of swords and the six of coins it's like you were sufficient but with the devil and the two of swords and the six of coins it was really a lot of thinking like is this worth it is it going to increase is this ever going to turn into something that the wheel of fortune of course is going to turn into something virgo is this ever going to turn into something that is going to be sustainable for me so a period in your finances was fucked up but with the knight of coins you continue the Hermit. Now you're about to get some type of information here, Virgo. The Lovers. We have the Eight of Coins. The Queen of Cups and the Queen of Coins. You could get an offer at a partnership. Okay, and something that you want or love in a career field that you want or love. Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. I also feel like Virgo it was some type of justice this increase whatever financial increase or spiritual growth that you're coming into is some type of justice from some type of nightmare situation that you that you went through some some king of wands put you through a heartbreak here nine of coins and the devil because this person was like toxic and single 
and they were like trying to confuse you that they were going to give to you for a long period of time but they didn't and with the hermit the lovers the eight of coins and the queen of cups this person is like finding out somebody's finding out that you're going to be in a relationship with something or someone that you love and with the queen of coins in the reverse i feel like this puts somebody they're jealous somebody's jealous is going to be jealous over what's going on here seven of cups the moon and the emperor somebody is uh they're fearful of something five of wands this person is this person is like thinking childish shit this person wants to come in and fight yeah bring a tower this person wants to like interrupt virgo so know when yeah three of wands are waiting know when you'll start getting this financial increase it's because you're getting justice for whatever is happening here but also this person virgo they're waiting to cause a tower chaos to whatever you got going on because they know that's their that's your justice for what they did for you so this person is going to want to come in and like either getting your good graces or i don't know i don't know um but yeah this is what i got here for you if you resonated with anything here <clears throat> please give me a like comment down below subscribe to the channel to see what's coming up next with virgos and y'all already know i'm very grateful and thankful for everybody watching peace